good morning students today we are going to discuss about the our last topic in the unit that is text mining and mining world wide web so coming to the text mining so mining the text data from the text databases or the document databases so whenever you take the text databases these are the collections of the large amount of documents from various sources generally from the news articles research papers books digital libraries and web pages so data stored in most of the text databases are in the form of a semi structured data so either these are sun structured or completely in a form of a structure so a document may contain few structured fields and some of the fields as unstructured so for example if i take a document and if you got a structured fields like title author publication category and so on and some are unstructured components so we need to analyze the data and we need to retrieve the data from the document so to retrieve the data from the document we need, we are going to use certain methods so to analyze or the retrieving the information from the different kinds of database there are certain general generally there are certain issues like all the retrieval system that is all information system does not present the concurrency control recovery transaction management or update for example we have the online library online document management and web search engines so generally there are two measures for the text retrieval one is the precision another one is the recall what is meant by a precision precision is the the documents that are retrieved from the real fact table that is the percentage of the retrieved documents that are in the fact relevant to the query and the recall is the percentage of the documents that are relevant to the query and were in the fact retrieved so the precision can be given as relevant intersection retrieved by retrieved and recall is given as relevant intersection retrieved by relevant and there is another measure called as f score which is the mean of the recall and the precision so the formula for the f score is recall precision divided by recall plus precision divided by two. so the relationship between the relevant documents and the retrieved documents can be given as relevant documents and the retrieved documents which is nothing but the f scores coming to the text retrieved methods so generally there are two types of methods one is the document selection method another one is the document ranking method so coming to the document selection method in this we need to select the relevant selecting the relevant document the method we use is boolean retrieval method in which the document is represented by the set of keywords and user provides the boolean expression of keywords such as we give car repair or a tea or a coffee or database system but not an oracle like this there are certain boolean retrieve but keywords that we are going to give for the selection of a particular document we or we may go all for the ranking method where you are going to rank the document in order of relevance 
so when you are taking the order of relevance generally the text is being taken in the form of a tokenization stock list or word stem tokenization is nothing but identifying the keywords of a representation of a document then stop list is the giving the irrelevant we are going to set this set of words which are irrelevant that is a the for the and so on to stop that words and word stem are the the related words that group them into the same word like example like drug drug drugs all come under the same word drug so generally when you take any document to get retrieved information retrieved we use the vector space model and we use the frequency term matrix for example if i take any document in which it contains like this boy belongs to class 5 then you can write them in the words like suppose the word one contains boy and the word two contains belongs and so on till that word 5 whenever you takes another next sentence like boy where going to class is the next sentence now boy we are going to class now boy is been repeated the word one so we can write boy over here and here the class is also been repeated so we write the class somewhere over here so we are going to put the values which are been repeated so in the values as one and the word values which are not been repeated values we can put them as a zeros so like that you are going to put them as a frequency matrix so here in this example the matrix will be somewhere somewhat like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 This is related to boy, and this is related to class, and this relates to belongs to five where going. like that you can form a particular matrix and you can see the number of terms that are been occurred so this gives the number of frequency terms that are been occurred so in this document the query will execute the number of frequency in that particular document on the number of terms that are been occurred so the frequency term can be given as the term frequency can be given as d comma t and if it is occurring if there are zero then represent by zero and if it is one 
then you can give this particular value and you can also apply the inverse document frequency also and we have certain index for search techniques so in that we have the index technique so two types of indexing techniques to retrieve the data one is the inverted in index another one is the signature files so coming to the inverted index in that we have two types one is the document table another one is the term table so document table contains of the document id and the post id and post id and term table contains of the term id and the post list posting list so posting list is the terms that are occurring in the document then coming to the signature files so every time in this document table or the term table we are going to see the document id or the term id and the posting list according to that we are going to take that particular list of fields we are list of words that we are occurring in that document and we are going to retrieve then coming to the signature files in the signature files we are going to record for the each document in the database so we have the query processing te technique in that we have relevance feedback and pseudo feedback so relevance feedback is proven to be effective and the blind feedback is the process of mining the useful keywords from top retrieved documents here we are going to use another method called as dimensionality reduction so in dimensionality reduction generally we use as latent semantic index probability latent semantic index and locality preserving index so latent semantic index so you are going to use the single value decomposition so we have said about the termed frequency so term frequency we are going to represent them in form of a matrix so similarly here we are going to represent them in form of a matrix and we are going to see which are the uh, values that are having the uh, decomposed values of the singular values that is based upon the ones and zeros we are going to represent them into certain vectors and these vectors that is you may have the values which are uh, values which can be have the left singular vectors and the right singular vectors and those can be taken as the indexed values then coming to the locality preserving index we are going to extract the similar matrices that are existing in the locality preserving that is be based upon the distance between the particular two neighbors we are going to represent the similar frequent words and we are going to preserve those values then coming to the probability latent semantic index here we are going to use the mix mo mixture model methods so mathematical calculations so based on the probability of the each word and the dimensionality reduction we are going to use the similar like lsi we are going to form a vector and do the uh, calculate the eigen values and the probabilities of the each word so like that we are going to find out the uh, probability of the each particular word and we are going to take the multinomial distributions of that particular and we are going to calculate each weight of that particular word and mine that particular information then coming to the text mining approaches in text mining approaches we have keyword based approach and tagging approach whenever you say uh, keyword based 
generally of the keyword or the term in the document tagging is the set of tags in the document then keyword based association analysis so the association is nothing but we are going to take the document id and set of keywords they find out the association between them if most frequent items are there then we are going to say that these particular keywords are occurring most number of times then we have the classification analysis so in the classification analysis we are going to classify based on the automated top topic tagging topic directory construction identifying or the document right styling or using certain hyperlink for set of the documents then using the cluster analysis we are going to cluster the data that is most of the techniques that is organized that is unorganizing documents in a form of unsupervised manner so here we have the spectral clustering method mixture model clustering method and latent semantic index so class spectral clustering method similar to the clustering methodology how we are finding out the distance here also we are going to take the set of the points in the cluster and we are going to represent them into number of points by using the number of k means methodology we are find out the distance between them and using the principle that is the terms that are been occurred in the document we are going to put them in a form of a vector in the form of a values and we are going to see the using the k means method and using here we are going to apply the uh, principal component analysis we are going to check whether that particular point is coming under the this particular same cluster or not we are going to reduce that particular number of points and detect all the outlier points using the spectral cluster method then mixture model clustering method is using the multinomial component model like we have discussed about the, the using the multinomial distribution of finding the vector as well as the uh, doing the finding out the eigen values then we are going to find out the uh, vector values like that we are going to do the mixture models and latent semantic index is the uh, linear dimensionality reduction method where you are going to find out the frequency uh, matrix then we are going to find out the based upon the semantic we are going to give the mostly occurred values and the not occurring values frequency terms and put them into different matrices coming to the next topic that is mining world wide web so mining the web data is nothing but huge and widely distributed data and global information centers like news advertisement consumer information financial management education government e-commerce and many other information system so uh, generally the web data is a very huge data so and also it is very effective for the data warehousing and mining so the com complexity of web pages is greater than that of the traditional text document to mine so we have very much dynamic data in that so to mine that particular information from the web pages generally we have several issues one is the mining the web page layout structure so generally the web page structures are regarded to the semi structured data so generally we use the dom that is document object model so it represent in the form of a tree structure so representing in this type 
So here we are going to use an algorithm called as vision based page segmentation and the flow of that particular whips will go on similar to like this that is DOM tree with visual info which we extracted that is number of blocks we are going to represent and we are going to separate that particular blocks and we are going to give the layout for the hierarchy construction and we are going to design that particular data if at all we ever need that particular extraction then we are going to take the content structure like that whips works and we have another one that is mining the web linking structure using the authoritative web pages so generally we are going to take the pages in the form of a hubs and the authority pages so hub pages where the outlinks are been given and authority pages where all the in links are been given from all the other pages which are been so number of hubs and the number of authority pages are been set so the pointing of the web page web not only pages but number of hyperlinks that are been structured so we need to retrieve the data from the different categories so generally web link structure has another important category that is hub so hub is one or set of the web pages that provide the collections of authorities. So hub pages can be used for the authority pages. By using the hits, we are can use the hits algorithm that is hyperlink induced topic method. That is we are going to take the pages from the root set and we are expanding into base set including all the pages and we are going to give the weight so whenever you take the hub and whenever the pages are there a set of authority pages and set of hub pages which are being connected So some number of in links and out links. Now we are going to take the root set and we are going to expand them into number of pages. And we are going to find out the wave propagation of that particular page. And we also take the hub weight and the authoritative weight. So based upon this, we are going to update the all the hub and the authoritative weights by using the following equations. And we are going to shortlist the pages which having the large hub weights and the page authority pages and based upon that we are going to retrieve the topic search that is whenever you take any document it is not that you are going to get in one page it may get several hyperlinks which may retrieve to some other pages also so like that what we are going to do is suppose if I retrieve up if I search for any document and it gives to hyperlinks of the authority where it may exit several pages inside it and the information has to be retrieved for that we are going to put the weight in that and we are going to retrieve that particular weight values of the authority as well as the hub values and we are going to get the information of the related pages so like that the hit will be working out coming to the mining using the multimedia data on web so here 
multimedia data is the data that includes the video, audio, pictures and graphs. So here generally we use the web image graph that is block to page or page to block relation and we consider a new relation that is block to image relation then automatic classification web documents so documents uh, by classification we are going to uh, retrieve that particular web document so based upon certain class label we are going to predefine into the topics of that particular categories for example we have the yahoo taxonomy that is associated to the documents of the training and the test sets in order to web document classification scheme thank you